So I like to set up polls on my channel just to ask you all just strange questions that satisfy me. Uh, my most recent one was, if you're being chased by a Resident Evil character, who would you like it to be? Uh, to no one's surprise, you all voted uh, Lady Dimitrescu, which uh, even even Chris Redfield uh, lost out to her, which was a very surprising uh move to say the least so that entire situation gave me an idea what if we took a bunch of iconic resident evil characters good and bad and put them in a hunger game style scenario well that's what i've done i've set up i will i will show you it now so uh, in district one we have mr x and nemesis district two you've got the grouping of jill valentine and chris redfield strictly professional chris would never do that to jill as they're really good friends uh, district three we have leon s kennedy and ada wong as it should be he doesn't belong with claire he belongs with her district four is one of our first couple pairings we have jack baker and marguerite baker uh, district five admittingly i think claire might have got the shit end of a stick with this one. Uh, we have Sherry Birkin from Resident Evil 2 and Claire Redfield. Uh, District 6 is another married couple. We have Ethan Winters and Mia Winters. Uh, District 7, we have the newcomer Lady Dimitrescu and she's paired with Albert Wesker. The only reason she isn't paired with one of the witches is because the voice actor that did play the witches has recently passed away. So I figured it, I figured it was in really bad taste to... Uh, incorporate them in this just you know it, it just felt wrong to me so i paired with albert wesker instead i feel like they get along really well if they ever met anyways in district 8 we've got a combination of the old and the new we have the duke from resident evil village and the merchant from resident evil 4 you know they got a bit of a power power play power couple going on there district 9 we've got carlos and tyrell both buddies in the umbrella corp district 10 we've got barry burton and brad vickers uh, District 11, we've got our last married couple, which is William Birkin and Annette Birkin. And District 12, this is kind of where it went off the rails. I kind of ran out of characters, so I created my own. So we have Leroy Beegs. Um, you can see him by holding a holding a massive sausage on a on a pitchfork, and he's paired with a tyrant. So um, yeah, let's just see how this goes. So, as the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds, Tyrell runs away from the cornucopia, Claire takes a spear from inside the cornucopia, Marguerite runs away from the cornucopia, Mr. X takes a spear from inside the cornucopia, the Duke finds a backpack full of camping equipment, that makes sense for him, Chris runs away from the cornucopia, Tyrant runs away from the cornucopia, wow, everyone's fucking running. Oh shit, Leroy runs away from the cornucopia, Barry kills Sherry! So, uh, so Sherry's dead. <laughs> Barry, you fucking monster. So pretty much everyone ran, and the only person that's now dead is, uh, is Sherry. <laughs> okay, so, uh, day one, uh, Chris diverts Leroy's attention and runs away. Ethan fishes, okay. Wesker discovers a cave. The Duke overhears Mr. X and William talking in the distance. That must be an interesting conversation to listen to. Carlos, oh, Carlos attempts to climb a tree but falls to his death. Oh, shit. Carlos is dead. And he fell off a fucking tree. <laughs> Claire thinks about home. Oh, shit. Barry stabs Brad while his back is turned. They're fucking teammates. They betrayed each other. Oh, my God. Tyrant repeatedly stabs Annette to death with... Zayas? So, um, Annette's dead, and I think, um, Brad's also dead. Uh, Leon and Lady D work together to take down the merchant. Wow, Leon, what the fuck? So, uh, Fallen Tributes number one. <laughs> A lot of people died. Uh, so, five cannon shots can be heard in the distance. So, we have Sherry, <laughs> Carlos, Brad, Annette, and the merchant. They're all dead. Tyrant overhears William and Tyrell talking in the distance. Leon attacks Ethan, but Lady Dimitrescu protects him, killing Leon. Oh shit, that could be cannon. Oh shit. <laughs> Mia sets an explosive off, killing Marguerite, Mr. X, Barry, and Chris. Oh shit. 
Uh, Wesker questions his sanity. So, uh, day two, Fallen Tributes. We have Leon, Marguerite, Mr. X, Barry, and Chris. Fucking Mia took down four of them in one go. I'm fucking banking on Mia to win this shit now. Nemesis sees a fire but stays hidden. Claire sees a fire but stays hidden. Jill poisons Jack's drink but mistakes it for her own and dies. <laughs> So Jill's fucking dead now. <laughs> what, a, what a twat. <laughs> Ethan forces the Duke to kill Wesker or Ada. He decides to kill Ada. Oh, bro code. Tyrant kills Mia with a sickle. Okay, so Mia's fucking dead. She was doing so well as well. She took out four guys in one go. Claire begs for the tyrant to kill her. She refuses, keeping Claire alive. I've... Uh, oh, fuck, I've... Uh, I've set the tyrant as a female as well. Whoops. <laughs> Nemesis goes hunting. Ethan severely slices Leroy with a sword. No! No, Leroy, better not die. No, fucking Leroy's dead! No, my inside horse, fucking Leroy Biggs is gone! So, Tyrant convinces Tyrell to snuggle with her. Lady Dimitrescu thinks about home. Wesker questions his sanity again. William severely slices Claire with a sword. Oh fuck, so that means Claire's dead. The cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. Ephraim, William, Tyrell, and Wesker team up to grab food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs. Jack, Lady Dimitrescu, and Nemesis confront each other, but grab what they want slowly to avoid conflict. Shit, that would have been the fucking throwdown of the century. Tyrant stabs the Duke in the back with a trident, so the Duke's fucking uh, popped like a balloon now. He's dead. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance, so we have Claire and the Duke. They're both, uh, they're both dead now. Let's, let's see how everyone's doing. So the only ones left alive at the moment are Nemesis, Jack Baker, Ethan Winters, Lady Dimitrescu, Albert Wesker, Tyrell Patrick, William Birkin, and the Tyrant. So let's uh, let's head back and uh, proceed. So night four. Lady Dimitrescu cooks her food before putting her fire out. William lets Wesker into his shelter. Ethan, Nemesis, and Jack sleep in shifts, and Tyrant receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Tyrell screams for help. Tyrant and Tyrell work together to drown William. Jesus Christ. Nemesis accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Lady Dimitrescu discovers a river and Ethan receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. So, <laughs> the fucking Nemesis killed himself. So William got fucking drowned in a double team between the Tyrant and Tyrell and Nemesis just fucking blew himself up. <laughs> This is really good. Wesker, oh shit, Wesker cannot handle the circumstances and commit suicide. Well, yeah, to be fair, he was questioning his sanity throughout the whole thing, so that's not really surpri surprising to <laughs> And Ethan bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Wow, so a fucking protagonist of the new game just fucking bleeds to death. That is shit. The Tyrant Fishes. That must be quite interesting sight to see. Lady Dimitrescu kills Jack with a sickle. All right, okay. So we know that Lady Dimitrescu would win that throw down. Okay then. Uh, and Tyrell receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Wolf mutts are let loose in the area. Oh shit. So Tyrell survives. Tyron is eaten by wolf mutts, and Lady Demetrescu is also eaten by wolf mutts, so fucking Tyron and Lady Demetrescu and Jack are all dead now. Five cannon shots can be heard in the distance for our fallen, so we got Wesker, Ethan, Jack, Tyron, and Lady Demetrescu. If we proceed on that, Tyrell fucking won. No fucking way. That was unexpected. He was definitely, uh... Yeah, I I'm, I'm shocked. Tyrell beat out... The Nemesis, Mr. X, Lady Demetrescu, Jack Baker, Boulder Punching Chris Redfield, Leon S. Kennedy, Ada, Claire. He beat out everyone to win. That is a... Uh, I'm shocked.
that's an upset. That, that's an upset. That's one for the books. That's about it for this video, guys. I very much enjoyed this video. I came up with it really late at night, so I couldn't fucking record it. So I was really annoyed, but I could finally record it today. So I, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have, and I shall see you all in the next video, which will be next week. Thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye now.